what's up youtube are you winning boys i hope you're winning because on this channel it's all about winning my name is bart or born to win and today we are going to continue our adventure in call of duty black ops cold war in case you missed the last episode we started the mission desperate measures we infiltrated the kgb headquarters with um a bit of help from our good friend mr belikov and we finished the episode in actually quite a sticky situation with some of the um, KGB agents finally discovering us and we are going to get into some action straight away. So uh, yeah, without uh, wasting any more time, let's get back into the action. And straight away we have some lovely friendly fire, as I tend to do. Regenerate some life and keep going. Okay, that guy I think is dead. Let me just make sure. Yeah, he looks like he's dead. Cool. Whoops, sorry Adler. I really can't play the hardcore game modes in multiplayer or I just kill my whole team. And then they think I did it on purpose and they shoot me in the back. Which is not ideal for the team of course. Okay, just checking our backs to make sure that there's nobody there. Looks okay. Wait, we just interrupted somebody's dinner. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell was that? My god, that must have been a shotgun or something. Christ. That was a hard hit. Oh, wait. Wait, what? I kind of lost orientation for the moment. Okay. Oh no! Yeah, that's the guy who killed us. He had a shotgun, surely. How many of them are there? Cool. Nice. Let's carry on. Okay, these two guys are down. Anyone else? Yep. This place is a maze. No! Let's regenerate our health. Never mind. It's okay. We can redo it. Whoa, what was this lag? Did you see that? Moving. We're not playing online, so I'm not sure why we're getting lags. Getting you know what? I'm gonna get the AK. I prefer this weapon. The MP5 is like shooting marshmallows at them. While the AK packs a punch. Okay. So we plant the gas. If you've watched, um, I think it was in the previous or maybe second last episode, we read all this evidence about planting the gas in the Good. ventilation Good. area. To knock everyone out in this underground area. We'll see if it works. Almost to the vault. I'm not sure why we are planting any gas if we can just kill everyone, apparently, as a two-man army. Whoa! 
I wanted to get back to the corridor we came from, but I got stuck, unfortunately. Yeah, you kind of get stuck here on this little doorstep. Not sure what the problem is. What? Like, I get that we're playing on veteran, but... Uh Sometimes the death is just instantaneous. It's not like you even get any time to react, it's just you go from 0 to 100 very quickly. Yeah, look. You kind of have to step up here and you get stuck. Um, so, is that it? I think it is. Cool, Adler. Hold my back. As we open the bunker. There's bound to be more guys coming, no? Okay, what can we find here? Oh god. Adler. Adler. Don't have much time before they get through. Thank guys. Thank god those guys were not in a real hurry. In a real hurry to got, get through the door. They were just walking towards it. Sleeper agents. No, okay. Yamantau. Dragovich. Weaponized Nova 6 gas. Okay. Uh huh. Copy the disk. We'll review it later. Okay, 5%. This reminds me of the mission in Modern Warfare 2. Where you had to uh, copy those files from a computer in that um, big house in the in this woody area. It was actually quite tough on that rental, so we'll see how tough it is here. I think I'll throw a flashbang straight away. But we don't have any more flashbangs. They would come in handy right now. Please don't tell me those armored guys will be coming here. I hate them. Okay, almost done. And this is... <laughs> Something else. They're just running into the line of fire. This looks like World War One. Oh no. We just ran out of ammo. Where do we go? Do we go back this way? Towards all of them. Adler. You have a death wish? Okay, let's throw that back. No. No! I knew it. Okay, at least we got a checkpoint. That's fine. Let's throw it further down. And apparently that's fine. Follow <laughs> me. Yeah, you lead the way, Adler. This way. Let's reload the weapon. Oh my god. Okay, let's take cover. Okay, all good. Stop, stop trying to run and give up. Never. Had Adler, how do you know all those corridors so well? That's just quite uh, suspicious, if you ask me. Yeah. I have no flashbang. Oh shit! I have no flashbangs. No frags. No nothing. Who is it? I can hear somebody. Christ. Shh. 
Oh, that was Adler and his footsteps. He walks like an elephant. Come on. Shh. Oh, God. Oof. I got scared there. <laughs> that was like a jump scare with that flashlight. No. That was really bad timing. We took a shotgun to the face, but we're okay. Where did they come out from? And another shotgun shell to the face. Beautiful. Okay, I think we're fine for the moment. Anyone else? Yeah, I was prepared for that. Adler, come on, keep your side. This might be a way out. Okay, let me grab my shotgun. Anything here? No. You are surrounded. We are your friends. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Drop your weapons and surrender or he dies. Is he gonna shoot him? Is he gonna shoot him? When we move, get a mask on Belikov. I'll cover you. I would have thought he would uh, he would shoot him before we get a chance to actually act. Okay, Belikov. Grab a mask. That was damn close, Belikov. They are on full alert, melting the building down. We'll have to fight our way out. We're gonna need some heavier gear. I know just the place, my friend. <sighs> Gotta love this heavy breathing effect in the mask. Really cool. Okay. Oh, that's an enemy. Ha, wha what? I can't see anything here. Is this Belikov? Is he hurt? What's up? Oh no, that's Belik. Oh, okay, I get you. Yep. Continuing not to recognize my allies and enemies. Okay, that's it. Belikov. He seems to be running like uh, without any sort of any strategy or anything like that. He's just running like a headless chicken here. Oh, grenade. Belikov is actually glitched out. Hey, look, he just ran into straight into a grenade. Oh no. Right. I just picked out and didn't even see who killed me. And he somehow... He somehow could see me and shoot me. Okay. I cannot see much. Okay. Cool, cool. Let's move up. Oh, I have some frags finally. Oh no, oh no. Sorry guys. That was a failed grenade. Nope. Thank god. It finally let me uh, pick up the weapon I wanted. Okay, what do we take? Gear up. No way, we get this armor. That's so cool. Lazar, meet us in the southwest courtyard in five minutes. Belikov is hitching a ride. Plenty of room in the 
Okay. Let's go, Bell. Oh, God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Call of Duty never fails to deliver in such scenes. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's see if I can maybe flank somebody. Nope. Closed off. It doesn't even feel right to aim downside here. All you can do is just hip fire and feel like an absolute badass. Yeah, cover me, guys. Just quickly gonna reload. Come on, Lazar. Thank God. Thanks for saving us. If I can only enter the car. Oof, thank god. Oh no. Mark, we've got the list and we're heading back. Ooh. You ready to move? Desperate measures. Time. Two days later. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlock, Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. This is it. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba. Right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. Twenty bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the States. It's time to take down Perseus once and for all. Team, wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Okay, team. It looks like we're getting closer and closer to Perseus. Don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit guarantee on you. May I have a word? What's up? I need a few so, guys, I think this means that if we proceed to the next mission called the end of the line, we will be going to the end of the game, and there will be no turning back. We probably won't be able to finish the last um, or the other um, side mission, Operation Red Circus, that, um, that we still have left. But what I am thinking is that we'll probably try to see if we can speak to anyone Hold and on. get some more information. Sorry, Hudson. Sorry quick. to interrupt. Busy. Infiltrating Lubyanka went well. Our insider delivered in a oh, way. okay, so it was uh, thanks you, to the baseline thanks to that guy, yeah, not to me. To surpass every expectation. So from the bottom of my ass, welcome to the team. Well, thank you. Fucking finally acknowledged my contributions to the team. Are you concerned about Woods on this mission? I'm not in the business of discussing my personal views on team members to subordinates. Anything else? He's an asshole. What if we find a live nuke in Cuba? Plan A is Agent Azalea. We didn't pick Lazar for his charisma. 
He's an expert in bomb defusal. If it's live and he can't disarm it, you're still gonna get that nuke out of there. Bring a change of pants. Shouldn't we have a larger Negative. strike team? Even at this size, Perseus could catch our scent on the wind and try to relocate. In this scenario, less is more. Okay, cool, cool. It's as good as it's gonna get. The intelligence community has spent years trying to track Perseus to a concrete location. This guy lives between the lines of recorded history. Nothing would put a bigger smile on my face than you personally putting him down. The projector's in the back corner if you need to go over any details from the briefing. The projector? Okay, we'll uh, go check it out, surely. Hi, guys. Look alive. It's Adler's protege. Bell. Are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> Don't get him started. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Hold on, let me set the record straight. Here we Woods, go. Woods, chill. <laughs> so, yeah. Castro and I have some history between us. I had the opportunity to off the man, but our intel was flubbed. That's in a tidal wave of shit all the way up to DC. So if I find out that Perseus is in cahoots with Castro, and Hudson happens to find one of my bullets in Fidel's head, well, I say chalk it up to collateral damage. Huh. Kept it under five minutes. I was expecting a diatribe. No, we were after a different spy in case, huh? huh? That's right. Our team was right next to Adler's when we touched down in Way City. That's also the first time I had the misfortune of meeting Hudson. <laughs> in all those years, nothing's changed. He still has the personality of a wet fucking blade. Mm -hmm. Poor Hudson, nobody likes him. I don't like him either, but he's still poor. You guys are legends. It's an honor to serve with you. Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> you hear that? We're fucking legends. Yeah. Wherever we I'm go, so pathetic. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Exactly. I'm pretty unimpressed over in Fake Town, USA. Or, are you talking about Mason right now? Well, as I live and breathe. You tell me. You got a point in saying that? Yep. You sound concerned too. If you're trying to be friendly, this is the dumbest way to go about it. Guys, we're just fucking with you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. I felt a bit threatened, fuck. You seem calm considering the gravity yeah, of this well, mission. You just snuck into the KGB with Adler, hacked their database, and got out in one piece. And I'll be going in with my boy here. Where my boys? If I were Perseus, I'd be running for the hills. And I'd I get you. Mortar strike on that hill. I get you, boys. Feels like this Perseus mission began a lifetime ago. Yeah, for Adler, it's a culmination of three decades of meticulous tracking. You'll probably be extra pissy on this mission. I advise you to stay focused and drop the nostalgia. Cool. I am focused. This is Sims for Sims and Adler and for me. Good. Then you're ready. Of course I am. Yep. I've always been ready. Later. Later. Okay, what do we have here? Hudson mentioned some projector. In the back side of the room. Oh, there's a lock here. And a combination to it. Hmm. Interesting. Do we have any way of opening that? No, we can't go here. Apparently nothing to do here. There is a computer. Oh, and this projector. Maybe we can use this. No, I don't think it has got anything to do with the with the lock. Nope. Um, anything else we can find here to help us open it, or just the computer? This is closed. Nothing here. And they closed themselves inside there for some funny business. Cool. Let's go to the computer maybe and see if we can 
actually do something there. Because I'm really interested as to what's behind that uh, that lock. Okay, make selection. Received your update, Adler. If you think you've got a rotten apple, toss it. I don't want this operation becoming a game for you. Believe it or not, I do have more strings to pull. For now, Percy Volkov and I'll contact Greta, Greta Keller. We'll call Sims with meeting time shortly. So that's quite an old message. Sims, I'm leaving Frankfurt and coming your way. I understand your concern, but keep the temperature down. I will explain more in person. I have my reasons for shielding members of your team from certain relevant details. See you soon. Uh huh. you have your reasons, yeah? That's also quite old. And that's a message for Adler, which is confidential, but whatever. Adler, I haven't spoken to Hudson yet about the Yemen Tower results, but be advised that Perseus accessed a list of Nikita Dragovich's sleeper agents, then deleted them. Advise you and Bell use Hudson's asset in L Lubyanka to get inside and acquire a copy of that list. Hudson will resist, resist, so get a head start. You are making a joke right now. There is not time to prepare for this. After Yemen Tower, there is more attention than usual here. I have, I have overheard doubt about doubts about Perseus on and on top of that, suspicion of a mole in the building. Please be sure of this, Hudson. Still watching the other agents, but nothing unusual. Appear to be asleep. Hastings, the only one we believe to be activated, receiving encrypted orders from an unknown source. He also tried to contact an agent whom we believe to be Robert Aldrich. Hudson, contact me when the team reaches Cuba. Cool. So it seems like we are really, really closing in on Mr. Perseus. And our next stop is Cuba, of course. We have read that as already i believe and there's nothing so interesting here we know all about our friends from all the conversations we've had with them so we have no way of opening that lock there must be a way um hmm. let me see It's right over here, yeah? Oh no, it's not. It's, uh, it's that fence. Where is it? It's here. Inventory case, clinical record, Warren Commission, Dallas News article. Um, guys, how do I open this? Can I not just jump over? That would be an idea. Hmm. So we found, I believe, one piece of the of the puzzle, which is six three. So we should be looking for more of those um, posters, I believe. Nothing here. That's another one. Six three one nine. So guys, I actually found the last piece of the puzzle. It's right here on the ground next to the gate. I am not exactly sure how I missed it. And it's actually 2-2. Two, two. And to be honest, the first one, I'm not sure why I said 1-9. It's actually 1-1. One, one. So it's 1-1-2-2-6-3. One, one, two, two, and the gate opens. Okay, let's see what we have here. Nothing too interesting for the moment. We have a video game to play. And another computer. And we can log in apparently. Yeah, I am not sure what we can do here exactly. I don't find really anything we can enter here. And that's just an arcade machine. Oh, 
Okay, I get it. It's it's like all the machines with uh, all the arcade games that we've played. I think during the game we can we can play them here as well. Okay, so it's actually not as interesting as I thought. We I thought we were gonna actually find some secret here, but anyway, um, what we will do in the next episode because this episode has been going on for quite a while now. What we'll do in the next one is we will probably. Um, go to Yamato as well. I will do it off camera to collect the last piece of evidence for the side mission Operation Red Circus because we missed one of the evidence pieces here. So we'll just go collect it off camera. I might actually show you where I collect it. And then we'll go for the Operation Red Circus. And then we'll be all ready to go to pass on to the end of the game. And the last mission. Well, I'm thinking it's the last mission. Maybe I'm maybe I'm not uh, not correct. Um, the last mission, end of the line. So, as I said, that is it for this video. And I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next episode of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War.